in this video, we're going to tell you what you need to know before you go see those pink fluffy flamingos here in Aruba. Welcome to beautiful Aruba where the sun is scorching hot and the beer is super expensive. I'm just joking, <laughs> but it kind of is. So contrary to what you would think, uh, the flamingos are not on the actual Aruba Island, like the island itself, it's on an additional island that's just right off of Aruba. It's on the Renaissance Island, which is owned by the Marriott, also known as the Flamingo Island. So there's three ways that you can go see the flamingos. Um, the first one is if you actually stay at the Renaissance Resort, which is owned by Marriott. The second one is if you actually get a, a spa treatment. And then the third one is if you actually buy a day pass. If you're staying at the resort, then you can go every day, all day basically, and you'll have free access to go. Um, basically, you'll have to have your room key to get onto the boat, because there's a boat that actually takes you to Flamingo Island. Once you actually get onto the boat and you get over to the island, I think it takes about 10 minutes to get there, um, and then you can go see them. Now, here's our dilemma. If you have kids and you're staying at the resort, or if you have kids and you're going in the day pass or do the spa treatment, you're only allowed to go um, for one hour, I believe from 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. to hang out with the flamingos. Otherwise, there's a section of the beach that there's a adult side and then there's the kids side. The second way to get there is to actually go, if you're not staying at the resort, at the Renaissance Resort, you can book a spa day at the resort. Um, then that'll allow you to get access to Flamingo Island. And that's gonna range you probably about 155, I believe, up to $500. So I'll uh, put the information down below in the link so then you'll have what I have access from the Renaissance as far as prices on that. That's if you're not staying at the resort. So the third way to get there, you can actually go and purchase a day pass. And the day pass is gonna range you as of right now, which is February 2019. It's $125 uh, for adults. So, so to gain access onto the island, if you have kids, if they're from zero to five, it's free for them to go. Um, from ages 6 to 12, it was $65, I believe, and then 12 and up, it was $125 a person. So, yeah, I don't know about those prizes. <laughs> a little more that we want to spend at this point while we're in Aruba. I mean, it would be cool to see the flamingos, but I don't know. So here was the other part about getting a day pass. So now that the uh, flamingos have become like a big attraction here in Aruba, I've seen a lot of people waking up around 5.30, getting to the Renaissance, you actually have to go into the Renaissance Hotel to get your day pass. And that means getting there early because they start selling passes at 7 a.m. Well, they only sell 25 a day, so you better get there early. Um, I've heard of people getting there probably about 5 30 6 o'clock to make sure that they actually get a ticket to get on the actual um, on the actual island itself so I don't know getting up there early wasn't very exciting we had already gotten up early one day um, to go fishing so with the day pass you only get what's included is you get one drink and you get one meal, and that's lunch. And then everything else, if you want to buy more, it's a la carte. So they have a little bar there. You can grab food as you go. But I'm going to warn you, it's expensive everywhere in Aruba to buy really any food or anything like that. So I would suggest staying at the resort for one day if you can. That way it's going to be a little bit cheaper for you, and you don't have to pay $125 per person to go. Don't forget to hit that red subscribe button down below. And then smash that bell button so then you're made aware when we post our next video. And there's going to be more, especially here in Aruba. Bye!